Hi, I'm Dr. Andy. Welcome to my website. Here's a short video on some issues that you may be facing as a parent today. Please enjoy. We need to also look at the social and emotional well-being of children. It's the way that we relate to one another. That's really key in life. All the things I've done in my life, if I've learned one thing, and that is how we interrelate to one another. And if we can give children the ability to learn how to work with that, giving them that power to relate, we have the ability as parents, and I'm one myself, so not only have I studied this and I've become an expert in this whole area of social and emotional well-being, what we now call emotional intelligence, but I'm also interested as a mom because I want my own child you know, to have these kind of skills. I read an interesting statistic that the average child texts at least 1,700 messages a month compared to maybe at the most 100 calls. So things are shifting. They're not speaking on the phones anymore. They're, calling, they're, they're doing what I call wording because what they're doing is they're, they're basically, um, and I'm getting into position of, they're using their, their thumbs to basically communicate with their friends or, their, or other people around them. What happens is they have to do short messages. It's very difficult to express our emotional being through short messages. And unfortunately what happens is because we don't exactly know what somebody is communicating on that other emotional level, we can't pick up those cues. Technology's here to stay. It's not going to it's not going to go away. So as parents, we need to learn how to live with that and help our children learn that there's a balance in life. We want them still to, to enable them to have face-to-face -face communication. We want to still encourage those, those uh, emotional and social skills that our brains are already wired for. What causes bullies is the child not feeling really good about themselves. We use this, we banter this word self-esteem, but it's really about how they care about themselves, their own internal, what I call internal appreciation of themselves. If a child's not loving themselves or liking themselves, the one way they can do this is exert power because power over other people makes them feel better about themselves. So if we want to have a, a cure, we want to have an antidote for bullying, let's help our children learn how to love and care about themselves because when they do that, they're not going to do things that are not loving towards other people. Jessica used to be really confident before and now, and now she's feeling overwhelmed, out of control, and totally what she calls stressed out. You know, there are several things that we can do. We can't take away these stresses from these kids today, but there are several things that we can do as parents that can help them manage their stress, that can make it easier for them. Get them to just to accept themselves, you know? Nobody's perfect. We're not, they're not. And the more that they can just take things as they are and not worry about as much of what they can't control as opposed to what they can control.